to order from five students, uh, especially my student for 5S2 and 5S4. Today I will discuss um, differentiation skill, the exercise in the textbook for uh, chain rule, product rule and quotient rule. So for first one is the chain rule. In general, the first derivative of a composite function is as follow. So normally, uh, when you see the function come with the uh, g u, k y is g u and u is h x, the differentiating y with respect to x will give you something like this. So actually, we link link them by using chain rule so let's uh, discuss one example example like this we have the uh, function uh, x plus 4 to the power of 5 so let's say I'm going to do dy dx or I can say I want to find the first derivative so actually uh, if we let uh, u is representing x plus 4 so that means we use a function u to represent uh, x plus 4 so if i differentiate u with respect to x i will get 1 right so in this case the y will become uh, u to the power of 5 because we just mentioned we let u equal to x plus 4 so now I'm going to differentiate the dy du which is uh, okay 5 u4 right but uh, actually in fact we need to find dy dx so we need to delete we need to link uh, these two function these two u, u dx Okay, we need to do a linkage between them we call a change up them so that means the dy dx is actually dy du times du dx so we uh, just substitute dy du we, we uh, just now we have 5 u4 times 1 so the answer is 5 u4 but uh, we need to write the answer in terms of the uh, x so remember just now the u is x plus 4 so we have to substitute back the answer is 5x plus 4 to the power of 4 so that we will get the answer in terms of the x so in short when we do the differentiation for chain rule we can use a shortcut like this so we let's say we want to differentiate uh, another function to x minus 3 to the power of 4 so instead of let u equal to 2x minus 3 we can just do one shot like this so we actually bring down the power 2x minus 3 and the power minus 1 4 minus 1 and we have to differentiate the uh, 2x minus 3 whatever in the bracket actually that is a u right okay so uh, after that you just simplify 2x minus 3 to the power of 3 when you differentiate the 2x minus 3 we'll get 2 so finally the answer is 8 2x minus 3 to the power of 3 got it all right so we have another rule for the differentiating skill which is product rule so when we see the two function multiply by each other we will use uh, so called as uh, we call as product rule so when product we plus okay so it's u dv dx plus v dv dx okay so we have another one which is when we are having a dy we will differentiate in this way 
v d d x minus the u d d x over the v square. It's a formula when the two function divide by each other. Okay. So, uh, so basically, these three are important uh, rule for differentiation. Differentiation. So let's say I have discussed just now this one and this one. Uh, maybe I just discuss a few question uh, before I proceed to the next uh, next exercise. So example like this. C. Uh, let's let me do the C. So you can either say you you can do two way. Either you say let uh, uh, let u equal to six minus three x. So that means the function will become y. We let y equal to one over three. So you have to represent u as three, six minus three x. U power six, right? So now we start to differentiate du dx is negative three. And dy du is six times one over three u six minus one is five, so it's two u five. So dy uh, dx is actually dy times we can write like this first. Here will be du. Okay, it's a chain rule, so we always uh, say. This is a chain rule because we uh, we actually change the du like this. Alright, so now we just substitute the dy du is 2u5 and then du dx is negative 3. So the answer is negative 6 u power 5. In terms of x will be negative 6. Uh, just now the u is we let the u is 6 minus 3x, right? So we have to substitute back into uh, final answer 6 minus 3x to the power of 5. Right, this is the answer. There's a negative here, right? Negative 6. So finally, the answer is uh, negative 6, 6 minus 3x to the power of 5. To the power of 5. The answer must be in terms of the x for dy dx. Okay? Okay. Now, you can also use a shortcut to do. Let's say I want to differentiate this one. 1 over 3, 6 minus 3x to the power of 6. I can do like this. 6 times 1 over 3, and then 6 minus 3x, and then 6 minus 1 will be 5. And don't forget, you have to differentiate 6 minus 3x. So finally, after you simplify, you get the same answer, but you can do very, very fast. Right? So the answer is negative 6, 6 minus 3x to the power of 5. Got it? Okay. So I'll show you another one. Uh, let's say we want to discuss... Another one which is a bit complicated. So, which is I think maybe number H. Okay, the rest uh, you need to do all the exercise here in your exercise book. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So, differentiate 2x power 3 minus 4x plus 1, negative 10. So, what I will do is negative 10. Uh, 2x my power 3 minus 4x plus 1 I will copy minus 10 minus 1 minus 11 and I have to differentiate whatever in the bracket right so that is how you do so I'm using the shortcut way to do 2x power 3 minus 4x plus 1 negative 11 6 x 2 minus 4 right so finally we will write the answer as uh, this one is negative 10 6x squared minus 4 over this one because the power is negative so we have to bring down to make it positive 
So you can simplify, you factorize the 2, you become 20 in the bracket. Normally, we want the simplest answer, right? Answer must be simplest form like this. Okay? Understand? So I will discuss um, uh, exercise 2.4. Uh, uh, I have discussed exercise 2.4. So um, the, the rest of the question you have to do on your own. That means you need to do all the question for exercise 2.4. And I'm go I, I will discuss uh, question 2 or 3 if I free and other exercise. Okay, so I think that's all for today's uh, sharing. So please do on your own. Okay, any problem we can discuss. So, bye-bye and have a nice day.